So in today's video, I wanna talk about a topic that I've never really discussed on my channel before, and that is living life as an expat. Being someone who lives away from your home country, your community, your family, and everything that you once knew where you grew up, and deciding to move to a completely different place, different environment, and not knowing anyone and starting over. And the reason I haven't really talked about this a lot is because to me, it was just something that became part of my life um, through a relationship. And I'll explain a little bit more about how I became an expat, but I never really thought it was a big deal, to be honest. It was just something that I did in my life a long time ago. And I've realized over time that it is something that a lot of people wanna do. They're considering moving to another country or another city or something like that, essentially moving away from where they have grown up or where they are right now and thinking about how it might impact their life and so I wanted to create this video to talk about some of the pros and cons the reality of what it's like living away from your culture and your community and your family and your old friends and having to start again so hopefully this video is interesting to you um, and it gives you some insights into what it's like to live life as an expat all right so let's start off with my story how I became an expat so without going into too much detail the reason that I moved from Australia to the US was for a relationship I was married to a woman who was an American and I was able to move as a result of that. Now over time the relationship didn't work out but I was faced with the situation where I had to decide if I wanted to stay in the US or I wanted to move back to Australia and almost on a whim I decided to stay here in the US on my own and to start to establish myself and to see if I could build a life for myself. Now I'm going to be honest it was very scary at the time and there was a lot of pressure from my family and friends back in Australia to actually come home to not stay here on my own and to not try and build my own life but for whatever reason I just had this sort of internal feeling like I needed to do this I needed to do something for myself I needed to try this on my own and see if I could succeed on my own terms in the US because I had the opportunity I knew it wasn't going to happen again and I had to give it a shot for myself and I made a pledge to myself at the time that if I could last three months here on my own and I felt good then I would continue on for another six months and 12 months and see how I felt from there fast forward now I've lived in the United States in California for 11 years and I have been home quite a lot to visit family and friends obviously but I haven't ever considered, except for maybe once during COVID, moving back to Australia to actually move my life there. So the reason I share that is because my path wasn't a conventional one. Yes, I did move here with intention in the beginning, obviously it was for a relationship, but then over time I just had this opportunity to stay and that's what led me to become an expat. You might have a different circumstance where you're actually considering moving, you're deciding that you want to move to a different country, for whether it's for work or a relationship like me, or maybe you just have this desire to live in a place that the culture you know, appeals to you. You want to actually experience it for yourself. And whether that's a temporary thing, whether that's a long-term permanent thing, that's your decision. I think you will face the same pros and cons that I have, and hopefully these will make sense to you as we go through. So what I'm gonna do in the video, I'm gonna go through one pro and then one con to try and balance out. And I have three of each, three pros, three cons, but I'll go through one pro, one con to give you a sense of balance and that you can understand how it could be good to move and also the drawback of moving. So the first pro pro of moving to another country, moving away from your family and friends and community and everything, is that you get to reinvent yourself. You actually get to decide who you want to be as a person. Nobody knows you, nobody cares about you, so you can actually become a completely different personality if you want. You can dress different, you can act differently, you can change the way you think, you can change everything about your identity. And that is very exciting because rarely do we get to do this in our lives. Obviously as we grow up as individuals, you know, we start to reinvent a little bit as we get into becoming teenagers and adults, but to completely do it from scratch, you have to move to a completely different new environment and be Becoming an expat gives you that opportunity. I found that was very liberating for me at the time because I got to meet new people, I got to reinvent, I got to act in different ways and start to pursue different goals and ambitions that I was kind of afraid to pursue back in Australia, I was, they were actually open to me more in the US. So that is definitely the first pro is that you can reinvent yourself however you want in your new environment. The first con that is part of living away from your home country is that you will miss a lot of family and friends and the events that happen over there. Now when I first moved to the US I found this was very difficult for me because I actually in a way my head was still stuck in my old culture with my family and friends because that's how I'd lived my entire life. But over time I found that rather than being included in things whether it was you know parties and events or you know different celebrating like births of children or 
you know, things like that. I wasn't included as much and I did feel a little bit left out. Now, obviously it was my choice to leave and to be in a different country, but that emotional feeling of, of being away from my family and friends, it was difficult at times. I had relatives who passed away while I was living in the US and I couldn't get back in time to see them before they passed on and that was exceedingly difficult. And in some respects I felt very selfish being away from my family and friends and missing out on those things but I realized that is just a con of living in another country. You can't always be present with your family and friends that you had in the past and you will have to start to detach and let go. The second pro to being an expat is that you can escape your culture and your past. Now, I've talked about this a little bit in other videos and maybe I'll explore it in a future video too, but in Australia, we have something called the tall poppy syndrome, which is a tendency to always stay at the same level as everybody else. You can't rise above people, you can't be overtly ambitious, you can't sort of stretch and grow yourself too much without getting criticized. I know this is actually a thing in England and Canada and other sort of Commonwealth countries as well. The tall poppy syndrome is something that's culturally sort of present in Australia. We don't talk Talk about it a lot but it is there in the US it's completely different in the US people want you to succeed they you know recognize and they love you if you're trying to become something of you know merit or worth they, they want you to succeed and grow as much as you can so for me I was very happy to escape my old culture to actually move away from it and to let go of my past and to reinvent and I've talked about this in other videos that's what helped me to become a professional speaker was actually letting go of my old culture and my fear of actually standing out because I was free of it and I was in the US. So that is definitely pro number two, is that you can let go of your old culture and your past, and that enables you to reinvent and to be free. Con number two, on the flip side of that, is that you won't be as included or as welcomed into your old world anymore. The people who used to know you or were part of the culture that you were part of, the community that you were part of, they may not relate to you as much as they used to, especially if you've lived away for a long time. That's something that I noticed too. When I would go home to visit or I would talk to family or friends or people from the past on FaceTime or whatever, I didn't have as much in common with them. I didn't have as strong a connection as I used to because I'm not part of the old culture. I'm not part of the past version of myself anymore. I'm a new version and maybe they haven't moved on as well. They haven't experienced the things that I've experienced traveling and being part of a new culture. So I don't relate as well. So I'm not as included as I used to be. And that is difficult at times. It's a little bit of a rejection. You feel a bit more isolated, a bit misunderstood in some respects and that's tough so I would say that's definitely con number two is that you're not as connected or as included as you used to be once you live away from your family and friends and past culture Pro number three of living away from your home country is that you will grow in ways that you didn't expect. For me personally, I could never have become the person I am today. Even doing videos like this, I don't think I would have done them if I lived in Australia. For reasons I explained earlier around, you know, always having to fit in and, and not standing out too much. No matter how you lived your life in the past, when you immerse yourself in a new culture, you will grow in ways that you didn't expect. Your sensibilities will change, your preferences will change, your identity will change. Now, whether that's deliberate or just happens naturally, you will find that you will develop and grow in ways that you didn't expect. For me, as a person who loves self-actualization, that's very exciting to actually grow and develop myself and to meet new people and to have all these opportunities that I didn't have before. For some people, that's really scary because you're kind of letting go of what you used to have. But I see that definitely as a pro, is that you will grow in ways that you didn't expect and you will evolve and develop a lot faster being out of your conventional culture that you're part of. And the third con that I found living as an expat away from my home country is that it's very hard to go home again. And what I mean by that is that I can go and visit Australia, I can spend time with family and friends, I love seeing them, I have such a wonderful time, but part of me doesn't feel at home there anymore. I've lived away for over 10 years now and I have become Americanized, if you like. I'm not a typical Australian anymore and I don't have the same mindset, I don't have the same lifestyle, I don't live in the same way that Australian people do. Now I understand that the Australian to American culture isn't that different in a lot of respects, it's not like I'm speaking a different language or it's a completely opposite like East versus West culture, but even that small difference has made me not feel comfortable at home anymore. It's almost like one of those movies where someone, you know, leaves a small town and goes to the big city and then they come back and they don't fit in anymore. That's how I feel a lot of the time when I go back home to Australia. Again, it's not a criticism of my home country. Australia has some incredible, wonderful ways of living and I think there's a lot of value in being in that Australian culture. 
But for me, living in the American culture and developing myself and growing in the way I have, it means that I can't go home again. And for other people who I've met who've lived overseas and in different cultures from the one that they grew up in, they have said the same thing. They've found that they can't live in the same way and they can't feel welcome or at home as they used to when they were younger in their original culture. So at the end of the day, I guess it's up to you which way you go here. If you're at the point where you're thinking about moving to another country, whether it is temporarily or permanently, it is a huge decision. And as I've shared throughout this whole video, there's definitely pros and cons to doing it. You have to decide for yourself whether the pros outweigh the cons or whether it's better for you to stay where you are. But the thing that I would say is that if you have the inkling, if you have the desire or the, the feeling that you should go for it, I would say give it a shot. Worst case, you can go home again, you can start over, people will accept you and you can reintegrate over time, but at least you will know, at least you gave it a shot and you pushed yourself to get out there. My friends, becoming an expat and living a life away from your old country and culture and community and friends is a very challenging, difficult thing in the beginning, but it's also very enriching and invigorating as you start to develop and evolve yourself from who you used to be. I wouldn't change my life today for anything, even though there's been some incredibly tough times along the way, especially over the last couple of years. I think that me growing as a person and evolving into who I am, has come as a result of me living the life that I have and being in the culture that I'm in. So I hope these ideas are valuable for you. Hopefully this video gives you some insights into what it's like to live life as an expat, someone away from your home country. And I encourage you, if you're thinking of going for it, to give it a shot. Worst case, you can go home. Best case, you live a life that you never imagined was possible. My name is Daniel Mitson Short. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked what I had to say, please leave a like and a comment below what you're thinking about doing in your life. Are you considering moving countries or changing your life in some way? And if you like what you're seeing on this channel, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as part of our community. Thanks for watching. And as always, thank you for improving yourself.